Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. You're with World Dragon Media, and we are playing a couple of Next Fest demos to try some of the games that are coming out, I suppose, over the coming years. There are some at different stages of development, some are further along, some are coming out towards the end of this year, some are coming out in 2024. We are going to play a several of them, the ones that kind of caught my eye at a quick glance. I can't play all of them. I Love to have the time to sit here and play 30 of the demos, to be honest, but we've uh, we selected a few. And at this point, we are going to be trying All Quiet in the Trenches. Now, this looked like a kind of story-driven narrative game set in World War One in the trenches, where I think it's going to be quite focused on actually looking after, like, your troops and your characters kind of thing. So that's what kind of drew me to this one, the, the strong, strong story narrative. So, with that, let's press start and let's see what we've got available in this demo. I do quite like those little um, load screen things where they give you a little bit of information about stuff that was going on in World War One. That's quite a nice little touch. You can learn whilst you play, which I always love. Personally, for me, I actually do love doing. Learning these little, these little things here and there. Well, here we have it, folks. This is the trenches of World War One, and we are with... I'm not quite sure who we're with. I can still hardly believe that a few days ago, back home, I had been appointed un unter-officer in charge of this handful of men. And here they were, sneaking through the trenches behind me, not a hundred meters from the enemy positions, with heavy packs and dwindling strength. Senior teacher... Wilhelm Schmidtbaum wore a precise moustache and seemed surprisingly spry for his age. Wolfgang Conn appeared euphoric and full of energy despite the long march. Almer Fram kept adjusting his glasses and had not spoken a word all the way here. Casper Penderson was slightly stocky and was panting under his heavy pack. Exhausted, we finally found the dugout of Lieutenant von Karsbrook, to whom we had been assigned. There you are, Herr Unteroffser, he greeted me. You seem to have taken your time. Surely you are fit enough to start work straight away. The lieutenant's condescending gaze swept over my men and then rested appraisingly on me. Um, I'm going to say yes, Herr Lut Lieutenant. Because I feel like if I say no, I feel like, you know, I feel like my lieutenant's going to be that kind of a guy. Or my loot not. Regardless if I assessed our situation, this was not the time to make a bad first impression on my superior. Yes. Some of my men look worried, but Lieutenant von Karsbrook nodded in satisfaction. My adjutant will show you your sleeping quarters. Afterwards, report to me for today's duties. I found the eyes of my soldiers on my back. Obviously, some of the men resented my lack of concern for their needs. Without so much as another glance at me, Lieutenant von Kursbrook turned back to the documents on his table. Welcome to the trenches, Herr Unterofficer. Continue. You can hold the left, mess the left mouse button to rotate the camera. Click on a location icon to jump to it and on people to talk to them. The explanation mark marks important conversations. The button at the bottom right leads through all the interactions required for this turn and ends the turn. Now, so for that, that says all of them required. I assume you can do optionals. Hired has been added for three of the people. Optimistic added for, um, okay, it doesn't tell me who's who when I hover over them. But um, I believe that... No, I assume that's the teacher. I'm not quite sure who that was. Changed relation contemptuous. Okay. Okay. Interesting, interesting. And... Okay, we rotate the mouse button, and that zooms around. We... How do I move the camera? I guess I speak to this guy first, then. Edison. Status. He is physically fit. He is tired, however. He is clumsy. 
From handing a rifle to applying bandages, many things in modern soldiers' life require certain dexterity. That's not good. He is neutral. He is somewhat pragmatic. This is, oh, his personality. He's very unpatriotic. He's very outspoken. He's fairly courageous. He's somewhat distant. And he's somewhat jaded. One can get used to, at, to ever-present suffering. Those who can laugh among the dying unconcerned may have a lost burden, but maybe not just that. Okay. Uh, Unter officer, we only have the rations left that we took with us. Where are we supposed to get something to eat around here? Okay, his morale, he's, he's only just motivated. Rest, everybody needs a break from time to time. Note sheet, children, he's Protestant. Origin is Schleswig. He was a butcher, unmarried, and that's his date of birth. Um, the current circumstances are indicated by attribute icons such as weather or resources. This icon shows your prestige with your superiors on the left and the mood of your soldiers on the right. Ah, okay. Officers, soldiers, got it. The incidents of a turn often change the values of your soldiers. All recent changes are shown at the top right. That would be this. I would assume rations added for the day. Okay, we have two out of three rations. They are relaxing. I assume that's what they're currently doing. Not entirely sure. Con, Schmidtbauer, Pedersen. And if we keep turning. Oh, yeah, let's keep going around. And then we have Brom. These are all my guys, aren't they? Yep, that's him. That's him. And that's. Yeah, I think I've got four guys. So this is everybody. I can't quite simply interact with random things. Someone wants to talk to me. I tell these guys to rest. What's going to happen? I think I'm just going to fill the exclamation mark for now. I'm not going to try and jump ahead too much. Von Karsbrook, Lieutenant. Morale highly motivated. You're just in time. I've assigned your group to Night Watch. Assign a few men to it. I suggest you send the rest to the Supply Depot. There you'll get provisions for the next few days. But from now on, managing your group's food supply will be your responsibility alone. Okay. Fetch rations, night watch, rest. Okay. Assign a project to a soldier by dragging his portrait onto the project. Click on the respective project icon for details. Certain projects have a fixed number of soldiers needed for them. For projects, it is up to you how many soldiers you assign. The more, the higher impact of the project. Okay. Current circumstances are indicated by attribute icons such as weather and resources. Ah, that's what this is down here. So I have rations, that would be my ammo, I have no ammo by the looks of it. And um, that would be the weather. Chose the prestige with my superiors, incidents of a turn, go up here, let's go next. Assign a project to soldiers, oh sorry I pressed back instead of going forward, that's why. This guy is optimistic. Okay, if I, oh no that simply gets rid of that. Let's go back to my dugout. Right. So here I need to assign soldiers. You are highly motivated. Okay, you are very tolerant. So close to the enemy, we're not just waiting. Sooner or later, I, we will have the, to fight. I have to say I would prefer sooner. Okay, completely by the book. Very patriotic, very courageous, very compassionate, fairly diplomatic. Wow, this guy is just amazing. He is respectful. He is optimistic and he is physically fit. He's not tired. Okay, leave. Which means that you con. You're going on night watch. Now let's have a look at the others. Schmidtbauer. Very intolerant. Okay. Completely by the book. Very patriotic. Very distant. Very outspoken. Skills. Inattentive. Okay, so he's probably not going to be the best, is he? Note sheet. So I guess I quite like that. I can write my own notes. Um, has a great moustache. Oh, whoops, hang on. 
mustache. So I assume if I click on him again, click on note sheet, he tells me the notes I previously left. That is very nice. Uh, we've had a look at Fram. So let's have a look at the last guy in my group, Pedersen. He is clumsy. No, wait, sorry, this is the first guy I looked at. He is contemptuous. Somewhat jaded. Somewhat pragmatic. Very unpatriotic. Very outspoken. Very, fairly courageous. Somewhat distant. Okay, so he is fairly courageous. How was this guy? Very compassionate. Very courageous. Okay. And so the last guy is... From? Yes. He is motivated. He is, however, tired. Okay, he's slow. He's trained in first aid, and he's very attentive. And that's going to be quite good for this, I think. Fairly unpatriotic, very distant, very cautious. Okay, so we are going to go and stick you on that. I apologize that you're tired. There's a risk of injury, and it is exhausting. This is also exhausting. However, this will increase my rations. Effects per assigned soldier, and there's a risk of injury. Fetch rations. The icon below the project explains the effects of completing or not completing the project. If you hover over the icon, you will learn more about it. When you add a soldier to a project, you see which of his values are relevant to the fulfillment of the project. These values can have a positive or negative effect. Okay, so if I click on my night watch. The fact that he's completely by the book is a negative. And the fact that he's tired is a negative. Okay, I thought his attentive would be a positive. Interesting. Well, I'm going to keep the same decision. I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing anyway, so let's just see how it goes. Fetch rations. Now, you guys are both exhausted. And... Maybe Phil and entire kitchen companies are responsible for feeding us, but all this is useless if we don't send someone to bring the rations to us in the trenches. I assume that's two days worth? Because... Three rations between four people doesn't make sense. I assume that's for a day. So I think I might leave these two people to rest and see what happens. The next day. Okay, my soldiers hate me a little bit more. Pitiful rations added. Oh, but we still got full rations. Oh wait, no available rations. Wait, so if it's full, that's bad? He's no longer tired, so hang on, if I go to him... Characters. If he's no longer tired, but he does have... Pitiful rations. Oh! Well, then you can go and grab rations. Okay, so we want to keep that at a low level, do we? That's a bit weird for me. Um... You are exhausted. You're fine. You can go get rations. Uh, you're also exhausted, which is weird because you should have just slept. Okay, so yes, you want to keep it down, not up. That is very weird for me. Um, somebody wants to have a conversation with me. That would be Schmidt Power. We've run out of food. Someone urgently needs to get supplies from the camp. We should have done this much earlier. You are correct. We should have done. Gather your shovels and men. You have to rebuild it as soon as possible. Oh, another communication trench has collapsed. Oh, and that takes three people. That's not good. Yes, we should have sent more people to fetch rations. Delay will have consequences. It's very exhausting. Um... You need to go get rations. Okay, let's do that. Some of my men looked worried, but Lieutenant Von Kersberg nodded in satisfaction. Ratchet will show you your sleeping port. Oh, wait. A few hours ago, the roar of artillery had begun. At first, it was as quiet as the rumble of thunder in the distance. But recently, it had become steadily louder and more threatening. Suddenly, there was a thud, and not ten meters from the hiding spot where my men were huddled, an artillery shell shredded the dugout of our neighboring troop. 
Pieces of wood and metal flew for meters and smoke obscured the view. The noise was deafening for a few seconds and died away as quickly as it had come. An almost eerie, silent gasp of shock passed. Then my men and I jumped up, pushed aside broken beams, and searched for our buried comrades. We found two, for whom all help came too late. The third, however, we could still hear panting. He was lying with his upper body trapped under the fallen beams. His face was distorted with pain and he was barely conscious. My men stood around him, forlorn, and looked over to me for help. Hon said pleadingly, Her under officer, we must try to help him. Together we lifted the beam from his chest, and only now saw the full extent of the damage. His chest looked crushed and his hip strangely twisted. A long splinter protruded from his abdomen and his shirt was soaked in blood. Schmidtbauer shook his head. He's beyond help. A mercy killing will save him and us both misery. Get a stretcher. No man will be left behind. I ordered Con and Schmidt Bauer. First, I wanted to get him out of this wreckage and then decide whether I would expose my men to the danger of carrying him to the military hospital. There, the nurses could determine whether and how to help him. Continue. Okay. So, okay. So we have rations for two... Yes, yeah, so it's the great... We have rations for two days. Real battle, but it's still very prudent to keep one's head down under these circumstances. Okay, and there is 50% uh, barrages coming up. Skirmish was added, yes. Change rations for two days. Change to straight. Ah, of course, yes, because grey is good. It's a very weird one, me, for this. Pitiful rations added. Aya added. Pitiful rations removed. Wait, so I assume. I assume my guys don't have. Oh, wait, so pitiful rations were added and removed all in the same day. That's strange. We have food. Eat, people, eat! We need two people to take him the thing. But what means you? You're exhausted. You are exhausted, but you're also physically fit. So we are going to send you again. You are also very compassionate. That will help. Um... Very courageous, somewhat distant, somewhat jaded, somewhat pragmatic. Where was compassion coming in? Bottom middle. Okay, you're somewhat. Ah, all of these are somewhat distant, aren't they? Yes. How have we got them? You are also physically fit. So we're going to go for you as well. Sorry, my good friend. You two are going to rest. We'll fail if not done this turn. Let's take this wounded soldier to hospital. Defensive position. What have we got going on? Her aunt officer. The advance in placement has been destroyed by artillery. Now we're missing a well-covered position there, and the French have an easy way into our trenches. I'm afraid that if we try to rebuild the position directly at the front line, the French will do their best to prevent it. Oh has been destroyed, giving the enemy an opening into our trenches. The position should be rebuilt, but the work at the front line, with barely any cover, will be extremely dangerous. It's also going to be exhausting. Hmm. Headquarters. What have headquarters got for me to do? The artillery must have destroyed one of our telephone lines. Instruct one of your men to carry this message to the command post immediately. Looks like the French are planning an attack and we urgently need more men. Ooh. So, trained in first, oh, trained in first aid. He is slow, though, is the problem, because maybe he would be better, maybe he would be better taking this guy. There, so I'm going to put you there. Trained in first aid, yes, oh, but he is strained. <laughs> Oh, that's bad. We're not going to rebuild the emplacement. Like I said, you are... I mean, I assume you don't do any different, do you? Yeah, the relative attributes are all just tired. Um, so we are going to take you because you're physically fit. And let's go. What am I down to? Oh, my rations have disappeared. Like the wounded added. 
change to under artillery fire. Rations for two days removed. Um, so do I have rations or do I not have rations? I'm a little bit confused. Hello there, leave. Secondly, average prestige. We got, damn this artillery, I nearly got me earlier. I felt the shrapnel grazing past my throat. Wow. Thank God I only scratched the surface, but it did bleed for a good while. We did it, her aunt officer. We got the wounded man to the field hospital quickly enough. The doctors say he will survive his wounds. I'm very glad we tried. At least we were able to spare one family the grief. Nice. Oh, positive events. And that's improved his mood. Positive events have been added. Fantastic. My mood is terrible, though. I need... That's defensive positions. That's my dugout. I need to go get food. That's headquarters. The war will be over by Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I think they heard that every single year in uh, World War One. Well, it's useless if we don't seem to bring the rations to us. I mean, my rations have been removed. So I can only assume that I don't have any left, but... I don't know, I'm guessing I can't... Will be extremely dangerous. Well, I don't want to do that in the middle of an artillery shelling. I feel like I don't have any food. Yep, continue. That's not that. This is what's going on so far. Um, but I guess hold up in a bunker. I guess and I can't get food whilst we're under artillery shelling. Let's we go next turn. I assume my men are going to be hungry again. I'm not too sure. For the past day, my men and I have been sitting tightly packed in our bunker while the French artillery rained down salvo after salvo of death and destruction. During the hard work of our first days in the trenches, I had hardly found a quiet minute to have a personal conversation with my men. So now they were sitting next to me, tense and still mostly strangers, and I fervently hoped that they would survive the shelling unscathed. The silence between us was in sharp contrast to the constant droning outside. When, after hours, the firing suddenly stopped, a sigh of relief went through the ranks of some of the young soldiers. However, that was the moment when the veterans of the other troops tensed up and began to load their rifles. A cacophony of whistles snapped us out of our stupor as well. The French were attacking, of course. With God for Kaiser and Wasserland. Stay together, pe stay together, people. Although, wait, two of my people were highly patriotic. Maybe even three, actually. So I think I should have possibly gone for the other one. I feel like that's where, uh, yeah, that's where knowing your troops comes into play. In the German Empire, tent shelters were introduced in 1892 to provide shelter for the increasing number of soldiers in the field armies. Each soldier was equipped with a shelter half so that two soldiers could build a tent together. Right, so what have we got? And this would be the attacking part. Now, I didn't rebuild the forward post, so I assume... You and your greenhorns are to collect and evacuate all the ammunition you can find. If we lose this trench, we at least... At least we won't lose our equipment. Hey, okay. In battle, you lead your soldiers as a troop. However, you can also give them orders individually. Unless they have been separated from the troop. Pay attention to your allied and enemy troops and adjust your tactics accordingly. On each troop information about its display, such as its stats or last command. Okay. Okay, so these guys are in good cover. Previous action was advance. We are currently on take cover and it's calming. Part of a task, part of a task. Okay. Replenish combat supplies. Where are these two things though? Okay, we've got these guys as well. Advance and advance. Under massive fire, not under massive fire. Under moderate cover, good cover, low cover, hold position. 
We have back here under excellent cover. Excellent cover, moderate cover. Where are these supplies I'm supposed to go and grab? Rally. When you click on a command for your troop, a window with further details appears on the right. This window shows the appro approximate level of danger level for executing this command. Additionally, the advantages and disadvantages of this position are displayed here. Cover flanked melee range. Rally, no danger. Collect ammunition and equipment. Okay, so search Alco. And then search hideout. The ammunition grenades and first aid equipment will be taken to battle are limited, but there's always equipment to be found on the battlefield. Right, so. How do we fram? Because you are attentive, you can go search the Alco. And for the hideout, anybody except for Schmidtbauer. So we're going to go for Nicole? Yes. He had positive events. He's happy. So you can go search the Alco. Oh, alright. So that's we're literally doing that where we are. Hardly any bandages available at it. Hardly any ammunition available at it. Moderate cover. Okay. So next turn. I can assume that's it. Wow, look at all those French troops coming for me. You can only give your troop one command per turn. In the rally command, the rally command causes your troop to stay at its current position. With the following commands, you can move your troop to another position. Often, a new command also changes the current project of your troops. Okay. Under moderate fire added. Oh, what have we got, my dear friends? There was still a bit of ammunition and first aid supplies here. I took everything I could find. Okay. I was able to find some ammunition. Okay. So, we've got a few bandages and we've got sufficient ammunition. We are under a little bit of fire and we are in moderate cover. Now. These guys are advancing. These guys are trying to suppress excellent cover. Retreat. Retreat. Poor cover. Good cover. Um, away from the battle. This cat position cannot be hit by enemy soldiers. Under massive fire. Tactical movement. Puts me under better... Much, much better cover or retreat. I mean, can I can I shoot back? French troop one, four soldiers. French troop six, six soldiers. Moderate cover. Um I'm guessing I can't shoot from here. Okay. Tactical movement. Let's get into better cover. No danger. Okay, let's do that. Next turn. I'll shoot my shuffle across. And I potentially shoot back. Wrong. There are French over there. We have to get out of here. Leave. Oh, hello, French. You're saying you want me to run away. Uh, it's changed from under massive fire. I'm in grenade range. I've got enemies on the flank. Um... Retreat. There'll be enemies on the flank. Let's try to quickly get to the next cover through the hail of bullets. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, someone just threw an artillery shower right where I was going. I think I might have people on the flank again. Enemies on the flank removed, not quite. 
Heads down, artillery. Moderate artillery, shall we? Under massive fire. Retreat! This will be away from the battlefield. Let's do that. And let's go collect some more ammunition and supplies. Run! Get out of these front trenches! It's dangerous! Where are you going? Get back here! I don't know, it seems a little weird as well. Like, I don't really seem to be... Soldier tries to return to the group. A dangerous and tiring challenge to move alone across the battlefield. Yeah, you do that. Why did you get separated? Uh, search crates. Is it... Which one of my guys is attentive? That'll be you with the glasses. That makes sense. You go and search... Uh... Was wounded on the way here. We have to help him. I'm away from the battlefield. There's still moderate artillery, sh shall we? French troops vastly outnumber us. Lieutenant Carsbrook has ordered us to collect as much ammunition and equipment as possible so that they do not fall into enemy hands. Well, I guess run away is the uh, objective of the game. Well, at least it's the object objective of this mission. That didn't sound good. There was still a bit of ammunition and first aid supplies. I took everything I could find. Changed to medium stress. Changed to light stress. Medium stress removed altogether. New bandages removed. Do I assume we now have good bandages? Let's retreat to here and collect more ammunition. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't seem to be part of the fighting. It's very strange. I feel like I've not been told to halt. The following commands are executed by your soldiers on the spot, which means that they remain at their current position. Soldiers fire at moving enemies. Enemy positions are actively kept down. Soldiers stay in cover. Change the command also changes the current project of your troops. In addition, the allied soldiers in immediate proximity will react to your actions. We are falling back. Retreat, retreat to the next defensive line. Um, so of course, we want you to search some crates. So we should provide cover fire so our comrades can retreat. Yes, let's do that. Let us... Let us suppress the enemy. I assume that's what I'm... There's low danger. Fire, general suppression. Okay, let's, let's generally suppress people. Three of my men will do that. Are these French guys? No, they're, they're my guys. French are in light blue. I uh, assume you found everything you could. Find some ammunition. Okay. Uh, how are we? How are we going? We've got these guys all the way over here. They're too far away for me to worry about. As of they... I'm going to keep suppressing so these guys can retreat, basically. Yep, we'll go for fire general suppression again. Very low danger. Well, these guys, I think, are all falling back. Come on, guys, get back into a trench. Okay, I'm now in low cover. I mean... Grenade range. Fervor was added. Very nice. These guys have come back. These guys have come back. These guys look like they might be about to hold. Oh, this guy is... What's going on here? Two soldiers. Oh, so I think he might be dead. Um... Where am I supposed to be getting to, out of curiosity? What does... Oh, that means basically run away, I think. Um... I am in general grenade range. I am gonna, I think, get out of here. Narrow cover. The cover in this position is too small for a troop. The soldiers have to stand close together, which restricts the freedom of movement necessary for certain actions. 
Hmm. I mean, that's the creek by the looks of it that I'm wanting to get back across. That's open. That's not very good. That's not very good. That is open and with barbed wire. Remove obstacles. Right. Hmm. Gets over to here, I think. It's gonna be a bit of a gnarly run. And uh, someone might get slightly separated. But I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I mean, these guys were kind of running right into them. Hi, guys! <laughs> um, we have pretty good suppression. Low protection. We're in grenade range still. Who are we in grenade range of? Um, I may be in grenade range, but will they grenade me? That is the question. Because I don't think I have any grenades. But anyway. Maybe we do a quick search. No, I don't want to advance. Definitely not. Um... Let's try it. Let's connect some more ammunition and equipment. Nice! We took one of them out. Whoa! Jeopardizes enemy movement, exhausted, consumes ammunition, risk of injury. Those guys I feel should have all just been blown up. I feel sorry for this guy. He's still going. But he's like... For anything! Was able to find some ammunition. We've got plenty of ammunition. Now is the time for us to run away. Retreat. Wow, what does this mean? Corpses in the area. We're unable to recover many of the fallen until the rats are artillery finishing with them. The bodies remain as gruesome reminders. Okay. Retreat. Enemies on the flank. Um. Next action suppress. Next action suppress. Cool. So that should allow me to move. Bushes may not deflect bullets, but he who can't be seen behind them won't be shot at in the first place. Nice. Oh, moderate danger. Interesting. Extreme danger. Extreme danger. Yeesh. Uh, well, that's kind of where I have to go, so I don't really have much choice. My two guys are suppressing. So that should help. Oh no, someone got left behind. He's coming. No, he's going somewhere else. Where'd you go? Come back to me. No, he came back to me. It's okay. Uh, suppressing, suppressing. Previous act of suppress doesn't say what they're doing next. So with them suppressing, what I'm going to do... Enemies on the flank, really? make a run for it basically and then I'm gonna put some suppression fire down for my guys to make a run for it afterwards because they were suppressing this turn so I'm gonna have them continue to suppress whilst I get back I don't know why only two of my guys are moving oh that's not a uh, <laughs> indication of things that are happening before and during World War one mobile field ovens were used in the field bakery columns nice they made a lot of bread how did we do? Oh, we're back at camp. We're out of the trenches. Interesting. I wonder if this means that I can kind of like restock, look after my troops. Let's see what this means. The explosions, gunshots, and screams still echoed in my ears. We had only been fighting for a few minutes, and yet it felt as if years had passed since this morning. And every day life back home a lifetime away. To be in camp now, safely far behind the front, was surreal. The light-hearted chirping of the birds almost drowned out the dull rumble of the front and the cries of pain from the field hospital where we had taken Schmidtbauer. My people lay down exhausted on the grass, surrounded by boxes of ammunition and equipment we had saved. 
Dirty and bloody, some still pale and trembling, but soon the angry voice of a lieutenant in the distance abruptly broke the supposed peace, even before we could see him coming towards us amidst the tents. Uh, I'm gonna say her lieutenant. On your feet, men! Um, no, I'm gonna side, I think, with my men this time. I greeted him uncertainly looked down contemptuously at my people, most of whom were still sitting or lying on the ground, but seeing the ample supply of ammunition seemed to appease him. Good job, her unto officer He forced out against his visibly blazing anger. Not that it was a difficult task, but apparently, with this bunch of slops, you have to be happy if anyone shows even a modicum of con- Tom hesitancy. Our troops were in the best position for a counter-attack, but no. The reserve was too cowardly to take advantage of this unique opportunity we had prepared for them. The lieutenant rumbled without me prompting, and now Herr Major accuses me, us, of having abandoned the trench line unnecessarily. A disgrace. Henceforth, we will hold the line, come what may. Um... Hmm. My people did their best. I'm sticking with my people. I defended my soldiers' performance. Then I expect drastic improvement from you and your people. My promotion to Oberlutnant is at stake, he lectured me. Set up camp, her under officer. Sooner or later, we'll get our chance to pay back the French. He ordered and left us to take out his displeasure on others. I will defend my people. He is in a field hospital. Hospital full. The hospital's workload can make the difference between life and death for patients. And doctors and nurses can no longer keep up with treatment. There is a heat wave. Okay. He is unattentive. He is... Wounded and strained. I don't think anybody else is wounded or anything, are they? No, but... Whoa, you have... You are very much affected by bad weather and pitiful rations. So... We lost fervor, that was a shame. Medium stress removed, high stress removed. Field kitchen. Hey, the baker ovens they tell us about in the thing. Let's speak to this guy. Dialogues are important elements of the game. Symbols on the side provide important information about effects. Creates project, create changes value, etc. The star symbol means that this dialogue is available due to certain circumstances and could be gone in the next turn. Okay. Dialogues can also have negative effects. Dialogues without a symbol have no effects and are mainly meant to provide information. Okay. Welcome to the camp, Herr Aunt Officer. It is a pleasure to meet you. I'm Anton Zelensky, your field cook. I'm afraid I can't cook anything for you right now, though, as your squad hasn't been allocated supplies yet. Better contact Feld Intendant Hennick. He is responsible for your supplies. Okay. Wits, Romlik. Anything amiss, her aunt officer? I assume they've got nothing to say to me if there's no explanation mark. That's my tent cam. That's a call. Field hospital headquarters. Let's get my troops fed. Logistics officer Hennick, that'd be the one. You know the. The new group's under officer, right? Feld Intendant Hennick, responsible for supplying the troops. I'd allocate supplies to your group immediately. They should last you until the next supply shipment. Talk to me if you need anything. Here's to good cooperation, Herr Under Officer. Um The storage is slowly emptying, but there's still enough left for you to get some extra if you need it. Um except. Offer help. Glad you asked. The artillery is using a lot more ammunition these days. My people have already complained that they can hardly keep up. There's no harm in having more helpers to load the cart. I'll take as many people 
And I'll come back to that in a second. Ask for a favor. I'll see what I can do, but a word of warning. The lieutenant doesn't like special requests. Better foods. I only have the usual rations in stock, but do check back from time to time. At the moment, we're getting regular shipments, so our stock might replenish soon. Next shipment. It'll be a few more weeks, but the next shipment of supplies is coming soon. All right. Bottle of wine. That's no problem at all. I still have a few bottles of wine in stock. I'll bring one right away. Don't worry, it won't be missed. Okay, well, we're going to come back to him. The headquarters stored supply decreases, but it doesn't say we've got a problem with that. How are my people doing? Wow, he's definitely resting. He's... No, wait. No, wait. Yeah, no, grey is bad. Or is, is it bad? See, this says that he's tired and he's got two grey. No, wait, grey is good, isn't it? Grey is good. So, we want, we want Grey. It's not very weird for me. He's strong. He's strong. Hang on, but pick up food. Uh, just to do with how tired they are, really. Um, so, I'm going to get you to grab some food. Then, field hospital. Nurse Elizabeth. Uh, your Smith Bowers under officer. I'm Sister Elizabeth Ritter. I organize our small field hospital here. Don't worry, Smith Bower is doing pretty well. He will soon recover from his wounds. I'm honestly glad you were overwhelmed so quickly. The shorter a skirmish, the fewer dead and wounded. Defeat is good. As far as I'm concerned, certainly, yes. The Ludden can throw a fit about losing the trench line all he wants. But I'm content with not being overburdened and nobody dying under my care. Just because we don't have enough time for proper treatment. Uh, agree. Go with the soldiers. Leave. So I'm hoping you will be back with me. Grey is good. It's very weird. Yeah, it's... It's it's backwards. No, wait. So Grey is bad on green things, I assume. Because this is like the level of his wounded. He's wounded level 2 out of 3. So if I go on this guy, for instance, he's exhausted level 1 out of 3, but he's also strong 1 out of 3. So I assume that's a good thing. That's a bad thing. That's a very bad thing because of this bad weather. Um, no place to sleep without camp. No rest without a place to sleep. Pitching the tent should be our top priority. It will be exhausting. Delay will have consequences. I might see. Uh, someone wants to talk to me. I just got the difference between a failed intendant. What size ration should I give your people? If you want to do something good for them, then I would suggest double rations. Just talk to me whenever you want to change your troops ration. Um, I'm going to say... Double. Just for a turn. Because my guys are all... On pitiful rations, so... Give them one of double, and then I'll go back to normal. And let's... Can I not go back to here? Yeah, there again. Headquarters. That's what I'm looking for. Let's just... Oh. Relation camaraderie from respectful. I've removed for removed medium stress, high stress. Heat wave added. Hospital full added. And low food supplies removed. Um, so if I click on him, he is now... Trust and respect two sides of the same coin. They have a big influence on how a soldier treats me. Uh, so he likes me a lot more now? He doesn't like me, so he can... He needs rest. Uh, offer help. Accept. I'll let my people know. Leave. Unload cards. Enik will expect me to keep my word. You're going to just simply set up camp. That's probably the easiest of the tasks. You're going to help unload the carts. Effects per assigned soldier. Okay, let's move a turn. And let's see what happens. 
They should all get decent food, so I'm hoping that helps things out because bad weather has actually gone. Who's this guy? Lots. Bad weather entire added. Double rations added. All these were changed to double rations. Pitiful rations were removed. Changed to estranged. Changed to neutral. Okay. Lots. Who are lots? We've got an extra soldier in our camp. Skills. Trained in shooting. Nice. He's neutral. He has double rations. He's still in the field hospital. What have we got for you? Lots. Morning, Hell Hunter Officer. I'm Lots, the new guy. How do you handle all that military etiquette stuff? Personally, I found it all a bit ridiculous. To be honest. Um, do you want to know, Hell Hunter Officer? I'm from Hanover. There's not a lot more to it. Family. Four children and a wife. I would never abandon my family. That's really all you need to know. Uh, no, I, he hasn't. He hasn't made a reward yet. Uh, hello. Um, origin. Absolutely correct. We manufacture everything: steel, cigars, soap. You even have a railroad workshop. And we are doing well. My father's greatest role model. I want to make him proud. Respect the way he is respected. Me. I don't want to impose any punishment. Definitely not. Uh, set up camp. Oh, we're still setting up camp? Okay, we'll have everyone do that this turn. What have we got? Are you the hair under officer whose people pitch their tents right there at the camp entrance? My name is Marianne LaRouche. I am one of the village elders in our community. Since I can speak German, I try my best to mediate between the residents of the village and the soldiers here in camp. Bonjour, bonsoir. Field kitchen. Ration. Standard ration. Okay, so we got rid of everybody being on low rations and we went to high rations. Logistics Officer Hennick, can I not speak to you? Yes. Um, Storage is slowly emptying, but there's still enough left for you to get some extra if you need, except. Uh, thank you very much. Food supply increases. I probably don't need to do this unless I can get good food supply. Um. Yeah, send the new guy. <laughs> How can I help you? Ah, these villagers are suspect. I keep hearing stories of partisans attacking our comrades along the front. Organize some patrols for the village, her uncle officer. For the French who's in control here, so they don't get any foolish ideas. Ask for a break. Ask for more work. To help dig trenches, it'll, I'll take positive notes. The more you can spare, the better. Why are you offering help at all? <laughs> oh. That, that destroyed my relation with him. Um. Field Hospital, how's he doing? lives lost because you don't have time and manpower. Many as you can spare, except leave. Okay. It's depressing. It's also exhausting. It improves hospital occupancy. She becomes grateful. Effects per assigned soldier. It's unpleasant. Okay. The villagers will disapprove. Village outskirts. Bonjour. Yeah, but I suppose I don't really have a choice, because that's the mission I've been given. Delay will have consequences.
Never let live each for his own tune. The differences of very intolerant. Let's add you and you. And assist in the hospital. Oh, wait, so hang on. Let's add you. And you're going to end up being who we got left. You? Yes. There's nobody setting up camp. Delay will have consequences. That's bad. Set up camp, her aunt officer. Sooner or later we'll get our chance to... Uh, nope. When I saw the soldier, Alfred lots of camps. He was inspecting his assigned rifle with greatest interest. Almost as if he was memorizing the design. Um, make a good-natured joke. I was hoping it would tell me. We went to basic. Go ahead and for yourself with your weapon. If you have any questions, I'm here for you. Do you also think that the war will be over soon? I faltered. God is on our side. I believe that was a. I believe that was a very famous saying from uh, both sides. Hey, a bigger role, he muttered. But the important point is that we win quickly. We will, I said with conviction. With that, I left him alone. Continue. Oh, what happened to my decisions in the middle bit? I. I... Said the man on the other side of the table, taking the last sip of liquor. He was also an under officer. His group was camped next to ours, and our men often spent their free time together. The rat infestation had destroyed the group's food stash almost completely. I know you have to look out for yourselves too, but he visibly struggled to get the next sentence out. Could you and your group perhaps give us some supplies? Our own camp was adequately filled at the moment, but it was certainly not set up to supply double the amount of men. I will see what we can spare. Let's make friends with the people next to you. Infinite relief was on his face and posture, even though shame was still visibly weighing on him. He thanked me with few words, but noticeably from the bottom of his heart, and promised to repay me appropriately for this generous act in the future. Aha. Uh -huh. So hopefully that gives me... Well, what's with all these days? Put yourself together and do as I tell you, her aunt officer. I'm giving you orders, not requests. What now? Uh, he changed a strain. Changed to very good recovery. Nice, so he's no longer even in camp. That's fantastic. Uh, sorry, in hospital. The important one is how much time the medical staff can spare for him. I'm sure that's the same for pretty much every, but well, not quite. They're not, they're not in that thing. Big Eater! Based on average food requirements, however, average means that there are always those for whom standard is not enough. <laughs> Love it. Uh, double rations removed, hospital full removed, change to lightly wounded. Okay, he's lightly wounded. How about the rest of my guys? They're all good, aren't they? Yes, they are. And he is in optimistic idol. Okay. Uh, so I definitely want to leave a lot of people to set up camp. Let's speak to nurse. Current workload. A lot to do, but we're used to that. I wish I had more time for some patients, but at least we're usually able to react to emergencies fast enough. Um, leave. I'm not going to offer assistance. I really want to get camp set up. Um, and I feel like there's something going on because we are wanted at headquarters. Yes. Um, and I'm not going to get anything... Special. One of us the major ordered the start of the offensive this morning. Unfortunately, we don't get a chance to win fame and honor just yet. We're in reserve for the time being. Make sure your men are ready to move out at all times. After all, we don't want to disappoint the major once it's finally our turn. Fine with me. God knows you need it with your current track record. You allocate some men to entrenchment efforts. Leave. Okay, that does give me another job. But... Oh, we have more coming on. What's this? Now, oh. We need your help with something in here in the hospital. Infinite Relief was written... Oh, no. Wrong one. 
Thank you for taking the time, Herr Odoxa. Mr. Elizabeth seemed tense, even though the field hospital did not seem too crowded at the moment. Please follow me. She motioned and led me past the hospital towards a barren patch of land with a series of shallow ditches dug in a line. Graves. I heard there's a new offensive coming. Elizabeth paused and turned towards me with dire seriousness in her eyes and pointed towards the graves. Well, we're going to need a lot more of those. You think you could spare some of your men to dig more of them? I'll see what I can do. But I can't promise anything. Thank you, her onto officer. That's all I ask. I know you're in a difficult position, and I don't mean to make it any harder on you. Those words, she turned away to hurry back to the field hospital. Oh, no one wants to talk to me. What have we got? I would like to give them larger portions to get them back in shape. Sure, we'll go for double rations. For one more turn. Um. Oh, headquarters. Oh, now what do you want? A war in our camp that need guarding until they can be moved to a prison. It will be your responsibility. Okay. Right. So after I've gone and offered to help and then he gives me a job. That's a pain. Um, so that... I've got no one left to set up camp. Proves hospital occupancy. We'll fail if not done this turn. We'll fail if not done this turn. We'll fail if not done this turn. Right. Everybody is exhausted. Oh, guard captives is an easy thing. Right, so you're going to go on digging trenches. Um, yeah, everybody's just... But you need to go on that because it's not tiring at all, quite frankly. And you. Ay, ay, ay. This is actually quite hard to keep those things balanced. I need to stop offering people favours. Con was sitting in front of his tent, polishing his boots with dedication. Lots came up and quietly watched for a bit before asking. Why do you even bother? They'll just get dirty again. Con frowned. So the clothes and homes and still you clean those, don't you? Lots shrugged. But those don't get dirty every other step. Our boots do, especially in this mud. Besides, who am I supposed to impress with my shiny boots around here? Hearing that, Con paused, lay down his cleaning rag and locked eyes with lots. His expression, somber and grave. Honor demands that a German soldier is to represent the Vaterland at all times. With a contemptuous downward gaze, he added, And your boots are a disgrace to the Vaterland. Lotz rolls his eyes dismissively. It was then that he noticed me and for a moment worry flashed across his face. Her unto officer. Hmm... Colm. Colm. I like Colm. Hmm. Clean your dirty boots. Colm gave me a respectful nod. Ah, oh, too many days! Too many days! I need to make more decisions. What are you doing to me? Oh, now it's raining, and I don't have camp set up. Quickly cut to the chase of why she'd come to meet me. Your cannons have been thundering day and night, and the villagers are scared, she explains. Especially the younger children are suffering. It was only in that moment that it occurred to me that our artillery truly had been firing almost non-stop for some time now. Of course, the distant if constant grumbling paled in comparison to the actual impacts we faced on the battlefield, and I had long learned to put the noise out of my mind. Or perhaps my hearing had just gotten that bad. Do you perhaps know how long this will continue? I am not... Uh, until the Major decides it's been enough. After all, we had to live with the noise just like they did, and no one bothered to notify us about these things. Let's hope that time will come soon, she sighed before casting a sharp glance over the direction of the battery and adding, for the sake of our husbands and sons on the other side as well. That she said her goodbyes and turned to walk away. 
Right, now everybody is... Oh, pups were visited. Were they now? The soldier wants to visit the village pub. Oh. So you want to village visit the village pub. You haven't visited the village pub. Recent events affected the soldiers. Oh yeah, probably because I told him. The rations, bad weather removed. Bad weather... Gone. Very good recovery removed. Slightly wounded removed. Change to exhausted. Change to rainy. Right, now let's do as minimal as possible because I need to set up camp. Look, these are my tents on the floor. Still haven't been resupplies. Let's hope it won't take too long. Maybe we should have been here a while ago. Unfortunately, I don't know how long it'll take to get to us. Um... No, I won't take any. Leave. Who else wants something? There's a pub in the village, Herr Unter Officer. I just thought I would like to visit with your permission. Is that a yep, trip to the pub? It'll be pleasant. And it is relaxing. Okay, so. Lots and Pedersen want to go to the pub. Um, I mean, that will make them both happy. However, I have two very exhausted people right here. That's fine. They can do more of the work next time. And these guys, three guys need to set up camp. I need those tents pitched. Otherwise, my dudes are getting wet. Con came hurrying toward me, clearly upset with a bloodstained uniform. Oh, on top, sir. Have you seen the sorry state of the field hospital? He asked, visibly aghast. I just helped carry one of the wounded who couldn't make it on his own to the field hospital. The injured are everywhere and the beds are overflowing already. The nurses just told me to drop him off wherever. That they had no time to tend to him anyhow. I'd known with the intense fighting of the last few days that a lot of the injured were passing through our camp. But to think that the state of the field hospital had already gotten so bad. Is there nothing to be done? The soldier pleaded with me. I will look into it. Never make promises. The last thing the people at the field hospital need right now is more chaos and disorganized helpers getting in their way. I should probably talk to Elizabeth soon to see if we could help. So I assume... Yes, field hospital very, very full. It is rainy. The tent has been set up so we can finally rest. Woo! Whoa, who's this guy? Dana. But now it's your six-man squad. I love it. Skills. Trained in shooting. Trained in melee. Hello. He is only a little bit tired. And he is respectful. But now, is there any other big changes? Tired removed. Negative events increased. I don't like that. Positive events increased. Um, so double rations were added. You went from relaxed to tired. That's always interesting. You went from exhausted to tired. That's good. You got tired removed. Change relation to neutral. I like that. Purpose removed. Hospital overburdened added. And negative events have increased. Okay, hide all. Someone wants to talk to me. What about duty here, Hunter Officer? Completely by the book. He is somewhat patriotic. He is fairly outspoken. And he is very... Courageous. I love it. Fort him for duty. Where and with whom am I supposed to pitch my tent? Origin. Or Rapshwir, as they say in Alsace. On the foot of Pulse, on the other side of the mountains in France. It's a good wine region. Most of our neighbours were wine growers. As children, we always help with the great harvest. On the other side of the mountains in France. Ah, so he's from close to the border. Comes from a military family. My grandfather's grandfather marched in Napoleon's Grand Army. My grandfather still fought for the French at Sedan. Okay, interesting. Keep an eye on him. He could be partly French. Um. Tom. Smith Bauer hardly worked at all. I constantly had to do and fix things that were supposed to be his job. Hmm. 
Schmidt Bauer. Oh, he is exhausted. That could be why. So let's see who wants to talk to me. I had them bring your ration directly to your unit stockpile. Why, thank you. I'm really... <laughs> I'm completely neutral. I assume I can feel positive, but I'm not too sure. Answer that. They're devouring our food stocks. We have to do something. Okay, so we have some pest control jobs. Okay, I haven't had to go visit the hospital, but I possibly should. Um, let's have a quick look at the field hospital. You need current workload. Go gift from God. Accept leave. Okay. Rent's loss of food. Let's... Using the mouse wheel is actually faster. Village outskirts. Do you like anything? Time is time. We can hardly keep up with the work. Leave. Oh, you don't have to refuse. You could go back. I could have done that earlier and not this. Um, because yes, we definitely need some people to rest, and we definitely need some people to work. So pest control doesn't really make too much of a difference. So let's look at assist in the hospital. Definitely not you two, because you are messed up. You are not passionate, so we're definitely going to go for you. And you, the two new guys can help in the hospital. Pest control. I would like you to rest as well, though, to be honest. So you can do it. And... Let's go you. Hopefully the other two can get a nice bit of rest in. And let's have a look and see what that does. Okay, yeah, no, that's that. We've got the next person. Casper Pedersen caught my eye at dinner. He was stirring listlessly in the stew and kept peering into the other's bowls. After dinner, he complained to Zelinsky that there had not been enough meat in his portion. Field cook Zelinsky, Pedersen. Wasn't it enough for you? No, it wasn't, he simply added. That kind of thing you talk to me in the future. He was visibly uncomfortable with the situation. It took him a few moments to add her onto officer. Um Okay, very well. He got his cookware filled again. Zelensky also seemed very happy to be able to hand out more. Those two had, those two had found each other. Oh, stop! Stop! Let me do things. Let me do things. Um, Edison loves me. He's now camaraderie. The tree is filled to the brim. Someone should take care of it before it overflows. Okay, that's one mission. Oh, and it sucks. Um, you went down a level of exhaustion. You got your tired removed. So you definitely need to stay there as the U2. So I've ideally got enough stuff for three people. Um, I want to keep at least three of them in camp. So what have you got? Someone wants to talk to me. We're going to the battle soon, about time. I hope you've kept your people as ready as ordered. Give it all in the field. This is our chance to chase the French out of their trenches. Okay. Um, ask for a favor. Better foods. That's no problem at all. I still have some fresh meat and vegetables in stock. I'll have it brought to your cook. Oh. Um, The old hospital went down, which is nice. 
It's not as low as it could be, but it's a little bit more under control. Um, I don't know. I could offer a request additional help from him. That'll be one person each. I could also... Actually, I could offer help at the field hospital. Field kitchen. You now wish to speak to me. We are able to defend our food stocks, and Hunter Officer, but the rats keep coming. Oh, is that when we have more... Ah, oh, more cash control is needed. Um, standard ration. Morale high, money voted, content, that's not good. Highly motivated, highly motivated. Grant a reward. No, 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 sorry, not you. You're not the one I was after. From content, you're the one I'm after, dialogue. I'm completely spent, you shall get bigger rations. Leave. Um, so latrine duty. You're uh, highly motivated? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Guess what you're getting? Latrine duty. Pest control. That'll be these two guys. And the other three are resting, so. Um, no, wait. Yeah, that's a lie. Going there, and you're going there. Um, do I have to click on engagement, or do I click next turn? I just ignored an engagement. Had settled in absolutely many regards. A professional soldier, many things came easily to him that others, new soldiers, had difficulty with. He even had become a kind of mentor to some of the comrades, whom he could help out with his wealth of experience. However, word had already got around that he was Alsatian, basically a Frenchman, as some people put it, even in his presence. One evening, he stood in front of my tent and asked for a word. Her under officer, is my origin a problem for you? He asked straightforwardly in a, his somewhat peculiar Alsatian accent, dialect. Where do you see yourself in this conflict? Bam, 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 bam. I'm German. Alsatius German. Even in my grandfather's time, hardly any Alsatian spoke French. I swore my oath to Kaiser and Vaterland when most people were still enjoying their comfortable civilian lives. Good. What well, your comrades talk about you is wrong. I will do my best to stop this. Saluted neatly and left. Well, back to the front lines. I just finished one of his inspections of our camp and was on his way next to the next troop when Patterson came up to me. He made sure that the lieutenant was no longer within earshot when he nudged me with his elbow and gave me a crooked grin. How you can stay so serious when he's around, I couldn't do that. Such a posh aristocrat with his detached ideas of how things should be. He began to imitate one of the lieutenant's speeches about the importance of preserving the shine of our uniform buttons and then interrupted himself with an amused snort. I don't say anything. I will not condone it, but I shall let him have his fun. He then apologized and left. Men, tomorrow we march to battle, announced Lieutenant von Kasper. He had summoned all his subordinate officers to discuss the upcoming operation. Their fear of what might come was clearly palpable, but most of them did their best to cover it up with their heads high and chests puffed out with pride. The goal of our mission is to conquer and hold the next trench line, the Lieutenant explained the plan. So far, there was no difference to most attack plans, but we have an ace up our sleeve. An artillery is in position, just waiting to cut off reinforcements from the enemy. I expect you to use this advantage aggressively and decisively. Do not disappoint me. At your command, Lute Lieutenant, the officers around me expressed with varying degree of enthusiasm. At your command.
I mean, none of my soldiers are around, so... Act like a wonderful... Oh, it's still raining. Thanks for playing our demo. Ah, oh, well, there you go. Demo ended, folks. I was actually going to call it there anyway. Now we've done a bit of trench and we've done a bit of camp. But uh, it looks like I don't have a choice. That's where it ends. So with that, I hope you all enjoyed this playthrough. I quite liked it. It's um, going to be very challenging. I quite liked uh, almost the graphics, the gameplay, the way it kind of flowed in essence. Because um, it's definitely going to be one of those kind of balancing games. Hang on, I'm going to press back. Thank you. Just so I can decrease the noise and, and the gunfire. Um, as I was saying, yeah, it's definitely going to be one of those kind of balancing games. You know, getting all your areas right. Pushing what you can push when you can. And, you know, taking your hits when you think you can manage it, etc. Um, so, yeah, that's... I really like that. And like I said, I like the interface. I like the style. I like the play. Um, another big thumbs up from me for this Neckfest game. So, like I said, I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope you can join me in all of my other playthroughs. If you have liked this and you would like to see me play it when it comes out, please do hit that uh, thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, like I said, I've enjoyed it, so I'm very much willing to grab it when it comes out and give it a go. And so until next time, as per always, folks, stay safe, stay happy, and stay healthy. You've been watching Will Dragon Media. It's been a pleasure as always. I'll catch you again next time.